When are we going to learn something about Vic Fangio? What uh, we, we, We've been waiting and waiting and waiting. When are we going to learn something officially? I got to think this week, Hawk, that uh, or next week, you know, the next, how about the next five to seven business days? They always tell you when you get a delivery, right? It'll be there in five to seven business days. That's when I think they'll make it official. I had to wait till the Super Bowl is over uh, and a couple more position coaches to hire. And I, I think it's real intriguing for the Dolphins. I think they kind of got, an experienced Mike McDaniel on defense because Fangio likes all the schemes and moving players around pre-snap and all those things. So I'm guessing over the next week, and he's got to hire a safeties coach, linebackers coach, and uh, hey, away they go into the offseason. We know there really is no quiet time in the NFL, free agency in the combine right around the corner. It does seem like coaching-wise, you know, genius on the offensive end, genius on the defensive side now. Like, it does does seem like this could, and I don't want to put the cart in front of the horse, but it does seem like this could be shaping up to be a special team, no? I, you know, I think it all hinges, you know, it's kind of like what we talked about with the Panthers, you know, that you could take everything else, and then the big piece is the goalie. The Dolphins, I agree with you, you could take everything else, the big piece is to a staying healthy. That's the bottom line. When he's been healthy the last two years, they win. And when he's not, they generally lose. I mean, it just that's the way it is. He He's one of those top guys when he's playing. You know, when he was rolling early in the season, I thought he was in the MVP conversation. Um, so, yeah, they've got all the other pieces in place for the most part. And a little help in the offensive line. they got to figure out what they're doing at running back. You know, a few things here and there. May, maybe sure up the linebacking, figure out what they're doing at corner. Um, as, as far as depth is concerned, but you're right. A lot of the elements are there, but he's got to be healthy because if he's not healthy, they're not beating Solana, who you just mentioned. They're not beating Joe Burrow in the playoffs. They're not beating Patrick Mahomes in the playoffs. And we saw they're not beating Josh Allen in the playoffs. though so they came really close and could have, they, they need to, uh, to be healthy. And Hey, I thought the most intriguing thing guys for the dolphins out of super bowl week was Tua talking about what kind of regimen he's going to go through in the offseason to learn how to fall better. And, not, and I know it may sound silly to people, but this is a thing, that you protect yourself a little bit better um, so you don't get that head snapping back. And I, and I think that's going to be a huge factor this offseason. Can he figure out a way to not take those types of hits? I was going to mention Goldie, Tua, he's going to take up judo. Every Friday, he said, he's going to be doing judo. But you know what? Like, Solana and Crowder were making fun of that when the news came out. Oh, he's taking judo. But I'm like, yeah, if it takes judo and water aerobics and jazzercise, whatever it takes. Like, like we've seen he's got he's got an issue with that head snapping back. And and so why not do everything in your power to, to see if you can mitigate it at all? Well, it would be irresponsible if he didn't. I mean, what's the definition of an insanity, right? Doing the same thing over and over again, hoping for a different result. You know, Kim Camper said something interesting. He was talking about the neck muscles, you know, how you can get stronger in the neck area so that your head doesn't move quite as much. He was saying that on the Dolphin show on CBS4 last week um, with Cuno and Congemi. I thought that was a pretty interesting point because, you know, Bo, Bo is an old school guy, you know, and if, if it wasn't a thing, Kim Bo Camper would not hesitate and go, ah, that's a bunch of garbage. That doesn't have, you know, you can't. And he was talking about that. So, you know, I, I hope it's a real thing, all of it. And I hope he can figure out a way to minimize these types of injuries. He seems to think he can. So we're going we're gonna to all find, find out together in, in the fall.